Hey YouTube, Mike here representing Gardenomics. So today I thought I would introduce a new segment to the channel called Seed to Table Cooking, in which I'll focus on creating recipes using food grown in my garden, as well as giving some information on how that particular plant was cultivated. Today's recipe will be the Habanero Ranch Breakfast Burger, using fresh habanero peppers picked from these four plants, grown entirely from seedling to fruit in this 20 gallon container. At the time I purchased the habanero seedlings from our local farm, I only had one container available, so I was forced to put all four seedlings into one pot. However, using spike and layering techniques, I was able to provide the plant with the nutrients they needed to provide excellent fruit production. I started off by filling the container with my 1.9 soil mix, which there is a recipe for in the description. I have had excellent results with all of my fruiting and flowering plants using this mix and it has quickly become a staple in all of my organic grows. In order to make sure I was providing enough nutrients to sustain all four plants, I turned to one of my favorite methods to supply the plants with the nutrients throughout their lives, spiking. The spiking method is quite simple. Using a stake or similar object, the grower creates deep narrow holes in the soil of the container, which are then filled with the appropriate nutrients, creating nutrient rich zones for the plant's roots to find as they explore the grow medium. I set up four spikes in this container, consisting of oyster shell flour, soft rock phosphate, happy frog fruit and flower fertilizer, and down to earth high phosphorus backbone. I added the oyster shell flour to provide the plants calcium, which plants seem to devour in the later stages of flowering. The soft rock phosphate is another extremely important flowering nutrient. With an NPK of 020, it provides the plant with a gentle, slow release form of pure phosphorus. The happy frog fruit and flower was my all purpose spike nutrient, with a semi balanced NPK of 583. I added this amendment specifically for the nitrogen. Finally, the back guano. This was added primarily for the beneficial microlife it contains, as well as the small amounts of nitrogen. When growing organically, you will learn through experience that the best way to grow large, healthy plants is by making sure the microlife contained within the soil is well taken care of. About 100 days after planting the seedlings, my first peppers started ripening. They go from a pale yet vivid green to a beautifully bright and vibrant red. The easiest way to tell if a pepper is ready once it turns completely red is simply to give it a gentle tug. Peppers that are mature will pull away easily. The ones that are not ripe will put up more of a fight. Over the last week, I have probably picked over 50 peppers from the plant, and it is still producing, though I do believe the plant is nearing the end of its life cycle. So now that I have described how these beauties were grown, it is time to get to the part you really want to see. The food. The Habanero Ranch Breakfast Burger is a great way to use these peppers. It is easy to make, and most of all, it is delicious. For the burger, you will need 1 quarter pound Angus beef patty, 4 half strips of thick cut bacon, 1 egg, 1 slice of American cheese, and an everything bagel for the bun. For the habanero ranch bread, you will need four habanero peppers, one tablespoon of green onion, one tablespoon cream cheese, three tablespoons ranch, half teaspoon minced garlic, quarter teaspoon salt, and half a teaspoon of honey. It helps to have a blender or a food processor to make the sauce but it can be easily made by cutting up the peppers finely and mixing the ingredients together thoroughly with a whisk. Now that you have had all the ingredients, we will start by making the habanero ranch bread. In a food processor or blender, combine the following ingredients in black. Cream cheese, ranch, honey, salt, and garlic. Once those ingredients have been blended until smooth, Rough chop the four habanero peppers and pulse them with the mixture. Pour this mixture in the bowl 
and stir it in thinly sliced green onions. Now that the habanero ranch bread is finished, heat two skillets to 375 degrees. Once they are at temperature, start cooking the burger in the bacon. Five minutes before your burger is done, pull your bacon and clean the pan to prepare for the egg. Heat the skillet back up to 230 degrees and begin cooking the egg. Cook your burger until about two minutes before your desired doneness and cover with the American cheese to melt and put your bagel in the toaster. Once the bagel is done, take it out of the toaster, hit it with the habanero spread, throw the burger on, top with the bacon, then the egg, and finally garnish with green onion, and there you have it. The Habanero Ranch Breakfast Burger. I hope everybody enjoyed the video and that you guys like what I'm doing with these new segments. If you enjoyed the subject matter, please like and subscribe for more videos to come. Mike here with Gardenomics signing off. Thank you for your time.